वेलकम यू गाइस वेलकम टू वन एकेडमी दिस इज योर बेवर एडी सर सो एज आई टोल्ड सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट डीपीपी ऑफ द डिजिटल दैट इज अ नंबर सिस्टम्स एंड टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू द नंबर सिस्टम्स एंड वन बाय वन विल कवर ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दिस नंबर सिस्टम्स चलो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर डिस्कशंस एंड बिफोर दिस वी हैव वन ग्रेट न्यूज़ टू ऑल ऑफ यू एज यू माइट बी नो in gate 2024 an academy students has performed very greatly yes seven aia ranks from an academy fellows only seven aia one ranks from an academy fellows only have a look at now here electrical csict ecch in pi and nm all these different branches the top parts are from an academy only now you can start your serious preparation with an academy to achieve your dream goals chalo aaj ka session so shuru karega humne and so we are starting a new batches we are starting you can have a look at now here from august 18th onwards the electrical machines is going to start for electrical by mayank sir and so far this is gate 2026 ka bhi hoga you can have a look at now here and communication by vishal soni sir you can have a look at and from this month from this month 31st onwards i am going to start the emt that is emft for ec fellows so you can plan your an academy subscription as soon as possible to avail the great opportunities now for gate 2026 and 2025 so start your preparation seriously and these are list of books the electrical fellows can able to get and these are the ece books that the books will be delivered to your home address within 15 days of your subscription and this books will be delivered to given to only the iconic subscriptions only chalo let's start our discussions one by one and try to solve the each and every problem i will try to solve the one by one problem try to do it chalo the first one the number system with radix 2 is called as if the radix 2 then we can call that is a binary system A group of four bits. A group of four bits is called as what? Tell me now. Nibble. So here, sing one bit, the one number. This is the bit, and the here four is called as a nibble. Eight is called as a byte. Eight is called as what? Tell me byte. They are asking for what? Tell me now. Four. That means what? Tell me now. Nibble. Four bits is called as a nibble. the knowledge of binary number system is required for the designers of computers and other digital systems because ah uh, why we require the knowledge of this thing tell me yes the devices is it easy to learn binary system easy to learn boolean algebra it is easy to use binary codes the devices used in this systems are operates in binary form that's why we should have the knowledge of the binary number systems now tell me now match the following match the list 1 with list 2 now 75 so that means octal numbers are given they ask him to convert into what tell me now binary form me how will convert this octal now here 75 is given This is an octal. So a seventy-five first will convert into binary form now. Tell me now, binary form is what we can say now. Yes, seven into a plus five. So this is so that is how much now here? Fifty-six plus five now. That means how much this value? Sixty-one. So now this sixty-one we should convert into a. What tell me now? Binary form we should convert it. So this is one tarika. So that is sixty one. That is two. That is one. And this is two fifteens zero. Next two sevens one. 
This is two, three is one, two, one is one. So we should write like this. Finally, this will be one, 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 four, one, zero, one. This thing. This is a binary form. This is one way. There is another way we can do here. Now you see this thing here. All these are given in what form here? This is a the 75 this is given in octal form i want to convert into what element of binary form so this means can you write it as 8 as a we can say this is 2 cube we can write now so this power how much we have tell me now m is equal to 3 we got it now so that means each number we represent by using 3 bits say so means 75 how to write the 75 tell me by using three bits one 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 five is what tell me now one zero one so you see this thing that what we got earlier also next tell me now 65 three bits represent karo six means what we can say one one zero five means one zero one and 37 3 means what tell me now here 101111 and 26 means what tell me now 0106 means 110 so now check the options now which can be satisfied oh okay we now check it we can match it now here this is this thing next to two next to this is what element of four and this thing you got it everybody next one the number system with base are uh, radix 8. If the radix base is 8, that is called as an octal system. Now, now they given hexadecimal, they are asking to convert into an octal form. Hmm. Hexadecimal. So, what we can do? Hexadecimal means base 16 now. So they given 68, they given base 16. So first we can express them in a binary form. So binary form of 68. So 16 means 2 power 4 now 4 bits. So 0, 1, 1, 0, 8, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now we should this is the binary now this will be converted into what i mean over here octal octal means two cube now means three three bits we need to group it now here so this is zero so this value is what i mean now here five and this value is what i mean now one check this thing all of you hmm? Now this is a octal form. Next, what else now? 8C. 16. First binary form you tell me now here. 8 means what we can say? 1, 0, 0, 0. C. A means 10. B, C. Means 11, 12. 12 means how we can write? 1, 1, 0, 0 now. Base 2. Now 3, 3 bits we need to group it now. So these three bits means what tell me now here which is equal to 4. Next these three bits which is equal to 1. Next what I can say nothing is there we can put one more 0 here. So this is a 2. So this is an octal form. Next what else now 4f. 16. So tell me now here 4. How we can write the 4 you tell me. Mm -hmm. 0 1 0 0. F means 15 now, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, 4, 4, 3, 3 bits, we need to group it now here. 3 bits, that is a 7. Next, what tell me now? 1. And this is 1, 0, we can place now here. So, this is 1. So, this 
117 next what element of 5d element of 5d is a 5 is a 0101 d means how much so this a value 10 b value 11 c value 12 d value 13 na how to write the 13 you tell me 1101 we can say so this is 3 3 we need to group it now here these three this is 5 next this thing so this value is what will be of 3 and we can put 0 so this is 1 how much this is 135 so kaun sa option you can see now option c okay next the decimal equivalent of the binary number the decimal equivalent of binary number they given binary number they ask him to find the decimal value so this is what tell me 1011 Zero one. This is a binary form, so this is what we can say zero one two three four, and this is five. So means two power five plus what element of two q plus two square plus two power one. Two power zero is one. So how much this value tell me now here thirty two, and plus this is eight plus. Four plus one, so forty forty five. Next, the decimal equivalent of this binary number. Now you tell me now this number which is a nine, and how this value tell me now here this thing, and nine, and this value which we can say this is two power minus one. This is minus two minus three minus four. Plus what will come here? One by two square plus one by two power four. So this is how much now here? One by four plus one by sixteen. So this is nine plus this value. How much you tell me? Sixteen mm, is LCM. So this is four plus one. So this is nine plus what we can say now? Five by sixteen. How much this value? Nine plus what now? Point three one two five. So which is equal to nine point three one two five. So which is option? Tell me option C. Next, the binary equivalent of decimal number two fifty five. Two fifty five. This binary value is what? Tell me now. Here directly this value. Yes, all ones. Yes, isn't it? Huh. If the number of bits are n, maximum number is what? Tell me, two power n minus one. So we have taken eight bits. We have taken so that is two power eight minus one. So this is two fifty five. So what is all ones? Simply. Next. Identify the binary number represented by the decimal number. So they given the binary number required. So they given ten means what we can say that is one zero one zero. Okay. Now six twenty five. What I should do here? Point six two five. We need to multiply with the two now. So will come ten. So this is five, and this is twelve. So this is one. Now this value point two five zero into two na, so this is point five double zero, so zero again. This is point five zero into two, so this is one one. So the option B na. Next, octal equivalent of decimal number twenty seven. Means octal equivalent. So we should divide with eight. Say divide karo. So this means what element of here? Twenty seven. So eight three is that is three na here. Means what we can say now three thirty three point three. And what I should do here? Point one two five. The fractional part we should multiply with eight. Say. 
then how much will come here 1.00, .00 will come now so this is 8 so this is 1 so we got 1 now this is this is 1 33.1 decimal equivalent of octal number uh, decimal equivalent of octal number now tell me what we should do here they given decimal octal number is given that is 237 now we need what tell me now here decimal value so that means 2 into 8 square plus 3 into 8 power 1 plus 7 into 8 power 0 so how much this value 64 128 plus 8 3 is 24 plus what tell me now 7 so how much will come here 128 so this is 7 so this is 159 option a the hexadecimal equivalent of the decimal number 375 is given hexadecimal value so that is 375 we should divide with the 16 say divide karu. so 16 twos so here and then 32 32 means 5, 5, 5, 55 is left. So here 16, 3 is 48, no? 48 and 7 is a reminder. Now tell me now 16 once and this is 7 is a reminder. So means this value is 177 no? in what tell me now base 16. Next. Decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number B. Decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number B. The given hexadecimal form is given means B sixteen. Now you can tell me now. B. So that means how we can say now B. B means what tell me now here? 11. 11 into 16 cube. Plus what tell me? E means 14 now. 14 into 16 square. Plus 14 into 16 power 1. Plus D means what tell me now here? So this is 13. So now you can simplify here 11 into 16 cube. Yes, simplify this value. How much will come? Right. So this value which will come it as 4 double 8 double 7. This is now base 10. The decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number. So 3a dot 2f. The given hexadecimal form we should convert it to decimal may convert karna. So tell me now how we can do it now here. 3 into 16. A means 10. 10 into 16 power 0 plus 2 into 16 power minus 1 plus f means what tell me now 15. 15 into 16 power minus 2 okay so this is 48 plus 10 plus this is 2 by 16 plus what tell me now 15 by 16 square simplify how much will get 58.1835 The binary equivalent of the hexadecimal number. Hexadecimal number is A zero B five. A zero 
B5 be given what element of hexadecimal number. So we need this is in what system now here base 2 means here this is 16 means we can say 2 power 4. So this is 16 now from this m is equal to how much we can say now 4. That means each number we should express with the 4 bits express card now. Now you can see now here yes a 0 b 5. Now you can tell me now a means how much 10 that is 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 b b means 11 1 0 1 1 5 means 0 1 0 1 this is in what tell me bits sorry base 2 this is in base 2 so consa option tell me c Octal equivalent of the binary number is octal equivalent of binary number. We given this number one one zero zero one one one. So what I should do three three paid fellow. So they given this is and what I mean of base two. We need to convert into base eight. How much this m value tell me here three now? Three three we need to pay it. These three yes now you can put one zero here so then tell me now here this value is what i mean of three this is two and this is seven how much it is the decimal equivalent of the binary number now they given one one zero one zero one 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 they given base 2 we need in base 10 required right so that means here what we should do so you can see now this is here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so means 2 power 8 plus 2 power 7 plus 2 power 5 plus 2 cube 2 square 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0 simplify we want it one second this is 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 Number in cigarette here, so this 0, 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yes. So this is, now tell me now 2 power 7 plus 2 power 6 plus 2 power 4 plus 2 square, 2 power 1 and 2 power 0, yes, 2 power 7. That is 128, 64, 16, 4 plus 2 plus 1. Right. So, how much is value? Tell me 215. Total equivalent of the decimal number. 215 octal equivalent. They give a decimal number octal form we require. Na, it's a divide karo. So here 8 2 16 means how much left out the terminal here? 5 5. So this is 8 6 and 7 is LCM. 8 8 6 and 7 is LCM. So here 2. So that means what we can say now 3, 2, 7. And this is what tell me now base 8. Which are the following binary number is equal to octal number 66.3. Which is equal to 66.3. So then what we can do, we can do verification or you can convert it. 
which one will do here they given 66 mm -hmm. so here 66.3 they given this is a uptal form we need the binary form so what i can do here three three say represent curve so this is one one zero one one zero point what i mean now three means what we can say now here zero one one so check the option now here option d next which are the following is incorrect means they given this yes binary algebra now see what they given a first option one 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 zero zero one zero 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 one subtraction tell me so this means yes zero minus one doesn't go borrow will come two two minus one one this is one and this is what I mean of zero one yes this is zero incorrect so now you can see now this first one itself is not correct so this is only the option uh -huh. now tell me octal equivalent of decimal value 183 by 512 one as it is one only 83 by 512 mm. this is how much this value tell me now one eighty three by five twelve if you do how much this value one point one six two one this is in what tell me now here no this is in base ten this is in base ten abhi humko octal chahiye so that means what we can say now here one one only so this is point one six two one multiply with what element of 8 so we have simplify this thing if i multiply this thing see what i will get you see mm -hmm. so this is 8 so 16 48 49 and this is 8 plus 4 12 so this is 1 2 so this means what will come 1.1 1. 1 now thereafter point two nine six eight now eight so sixty four forty eight fifty four so here seventy two seventy seven sixteen sixteen plus so seven so twenty three so this is two three now so this means Two will come here, then this is point three seven four four multiply with eight. So from this we can eliminate the option you can see. Options we can able to identify now. So if not able to identify keep on we need to proceed it further. Next decimal value and we need to match to binary value. Yes. So the normal only is simple so you can tell me now 45 decimal value we should convert into what tell me now here binary so this is 45 simply successive division 2 2 is 1 so this is 2 1 1 0 that is 2 5 is 1 2 2 is 1 and 2 1 is 0 means what we can say tell me now here one zero one one zero one this is a two so concept option you see this thing here uh, 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 uh. yes this is four now here 45 four two options are there so that means 90 you can check 45 so this is zero and two 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 so this is one and this is two eleven zero that is two five one 
two five one. This is two two one. Okay. Now this is two ones. Now this is two ones and zero. So this is one zero one one zero one zero. So this is also option number ninety. Clear. So this is option B. Okay. This normal simplification. The decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number. Hexadecimal number is given three e eight base sixteen. So we should convert into what term now? Decimal form. So three three into what I can say now? Sixteen square plus e means fifteen into sixteen power one plus eight. Yeah, simplify how much this value? One thousand. Next, the minimum decimal equivalent of the number one one c x is minimum decimal equivalent of this number. So they given one one c and this is x. So this means what we can say one into x square plus one into x plus what tell me now here c c value how much now here a b c. 10, 11, 12. So 12 into what we can say now x power zero. So means x square plus x plus what tell me now 12. So they are asking this value to be minimum. This value to be minimum means x must be minimum now. So for that x must be minimum. What could the minimum value of x can be acceptable? Minimum value of x that should be given as what should be c means what tell me twelve c means is twelve so more than that we should have now that is thirteen so means minimum value is what we can say now thirteen square plus thirteen plus twelve simplify how much will come one nine four option b okay. Next one. Which one of the following is a correct sequence of the numbers? Hmm. Okay, they given the data, so they asking this numbers is what form? Uh, two is given base three, ten is given base four. Okay. Now let us convert into decimal form. In base three, which is also equal to in base ten, na. Next one zero base four, which is equal to what I can say here, one into four power zero plus zero. So this value, which is equal to four, you tell me. Next one one. This is in base five, so we'll commit as five plus one, which is equal to what? I mean six. This value two. Next one four in base six. That is six plus what? Tell me now here four, which will commit as ten. Next two two in base seven. Will come it as two into seven plus two. Right. So from this, what we can say now, this is fourteen plus two, sixteen. They are asking this is in the what form here? Ascending order. Okay. We need to express them in a. This order. So this two, four, six, ten, ten, sixteen. Option D. Next one. 
hexadecimal representation of this number. So that is 6, 5, 7. This is base 8. And which is equal to what you tell me? Uh, hexadecimal representation. So we should convert into what tell me hexadecimal. First we will convert into binary. So binary means 2 cube, 8. So 3 bits required now. 1, 1, 0, 5. 1, 0, 1, 7. 1, 1, 1. This is the binary. Now, Abhi, we should require what type you know, of hexadecimal. 4, 4, we need to group it now. This 4 bits, this value is what type you know, of yeah. F. Next, so 4 bits, these 4 bits. 1, 0, 1, 0 means how much? 10. 10 means what type you know, of yeah. A. So, this is only 1 bit left out. So that is 1. This is in what type you know, hexadecimal. Right. Next one. Hexadecimal conversion of the decimal number 227 is hexadecimal. Decimal form they given that is 227. This is in decimal form. We should require what form here? Tell me. Hexadecimal form. So tell me now what we can do here. 16 say divide karna. So this is 227. So that is what we will get now here. 16, 1, 16. How much is left out now here? 6. 6, 7 is left. Isn't it? So means what we can say. 16, 4 and 3 is a remainder. That's all. Okay. E, 14 means E. So this means what we can write now here. This is 14. 14 means E and 3. This is in hexadecimal form. The decimal equivalent of the binary number is. The decimal equivalent of the binary number. Mm -hmm. Decimal equivalent. 1010.11. Decimal. This is the binary number. We should convert in decimal form. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Means what we can say 2 power 4. That is what I mean 16 and 2 square required. So this value 4 to power 1, which is equal to 2. How much this value 22? 22 and this is plus what we can say 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 so this value what we can say now 22.75 option d the decimal equivalent of the binary number is 110.001 decimal equivalent this binary form so this is what we can say now here 2 square plus 2 power 1 plus 0 plus minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 2 power minus 3 so how much will come 4 plus 2 6 6 plus what will be now 1 by 8 how much this value 6.125 so option B. Next. Convert the decimal 41.6875 into octal. We'll convert this into your octal form. Yes. So 41. We should divide with 8 now here. If I divide with 8, so tell me now what I will get now here. 8, 5 is 40. This is 1. So we should write it as what tell me this point is 51 point. And the remaining part, decimal part, we should multiply now 6, 8, 7, 5. Multiply with 8. So this is 40. Yeah, 56 plus 6. Means 16 are here. 64. 64 plus this is 70. 
फोर्टी एट प्लस सेवन फिफ्टी वन सो दिस वैल्यू कुछ विल कमिट है सो दिस वैल्यू फाइव नेक्स्ट पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड विद एट सो विल कमिट एज वॉट एल मीन फोर दिस इज फोर दिस इज आफ्टर मीन फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव फोर Now tell me now binary to decimal conversion. So tell me now here which could be the option here. Simply convert the second one if you see carefully. So now B okay, option is C. One zero one two three four five six seven. Seven is there. So two power seven and two power six. Two power five. And this is to power four, so this is how much? One twenty a. One twenty eight na. So this is sixty four, thirty two, and this value how much now? Sixty. So how much is value? So twelve twelve twenty. So this is two zero. So this value how much now here? Eleven, eleven plus three, fourteen. Huh? Here two forty. So means this is option B two. So only this is the option you see. So elimination method. Only one value I have calculated, and let's find the remaining things. Next one. The decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number B A D. Decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number. Okay. B A D bad. So where B means what? Tell me now. Eleven. Eleven into sixteen square. A means what? Tell me now. Ten into sixteen power one. And D, D means what? Tell me now. Thirteen, thirteen into sixteen power zero means one. Simplify this thing. How much will come? That is two nine eight nine. Do calculations. The decimal equivalent of hexadecimal number two a zero a. This is a hexadecimal number, decimal form required. So this is two into what element of sixteen q? A. A means ten into sixteen square plus zero, and this is fifteen into one. So here, how much this value? Simplify. This is one zero seven six seven. Binary equivalent of hexadecimal number. Tell me now here. Four F two D. This is hexadecimal number. So tell me now here. Four into what I can say now here. Sixteen Q F. That is fifteen into sixteen square plus. Two into sixteen. D means what? Tell me now. Thirteen into one. Okay. Now simplify this thing. Sorry, sorry. They didn't. They ask in the binary form now. So. Okay, so we did only the decimal form. We did binary form. So what I should do? Tell me now here. So four means what? Tell me zero one zero zero. F means what? Tell me 
फिफ्टीन वन 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 टू मीन्स जीरो जीरो वन जीरो डी मीन्स वॉट एल मी डी मीन्स थर्टीन सो दिस इज वन वन जीरो वन ओके कौन सा ऑप्शन ऑप्शन डी राइट वॉट इज द ऑक्टल इक्वलेंट ऑफ दिस नंबर ऑक्टल इक्वलेंट सो दिस इज फाइव थ्री टू वन पॉइंट वन टू फाइव बेस टेन ऑक्टल वैल्यू रिक्वायर्ड सो दट मीन्स वॉट वी शुड डू हि फाइव थ्री टू वन सो वॉट आई शुड डू डिवाइड विथ एट से डिवाइड करो If you divide with eight, so now you can tell me now here. It's six, forty-eight, forty-eight, five is there now, five two, forty-eight, and this is fifty-two now. So that is how much this value will come here? Six, forty-eight. First one it is what I'll be now forty eight. Eight six forty eight forty eight means what I'll be five two five two fifty two is there now. So again forty eight. So that means what I'll be now here fifty two four is there. This is five five two. This is one will come now. So this is next one here. So eight eight sixty four sixty four means here twenty five. So threes. One, so this is eight. Tens now here. Three will come. Check it on a few. Next eight twos. Sorry, eight ones only. Eight ones. This is two. So this is nothing now here. How much? One, two, three, one, one point. Ah, uh, so tell me now here. Point one two five. Point one two five multiply with eight. This is forty. So sixteen, and this is two. So this is one. So this value one now tell me this is base eight. So which option tell me now here? Option B. The value of x is. Okay, they given the binary to decimal form. So tell me now decimal form. X value two power two plus two power one plus two power minus one plus two power minus two minus three. So this is four plus two plus point five. Yes, that is point one two five. Yes, six. Point six two five. Check it all of you. Option A. The value of x. Okay, so here they convert hexadecimal form. So this is sixteen. So we should divide it now. One 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 eight. So tell me now here. So here sixteen 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 six ninety six now here. Mm -hmm. So this value will come it as what tell me now here. Yes. So this value. So this value six ninety six and this ninety six and how much left out now? Tell me triple one. So this is fifteen fifteen one fifty eight one fifty eight means what? Tell me now sixteen into nine. How much this value? One forty four one forty four one fifty six one forty four minus one fifty six now. So how much will come here? 
12 is left. So this is 6 and this is 9. So this is what terminal 12? 12 means how much now? A, B, C, C. A, B, C, D. Sorry, D now. This is D. Next again 16. So here 4, this is 5. Now, so this value is what we can say now 4, 5. Uh -huh. No option for E or D here. E or D here. So this is what I mean of here. 16 into 69. So this is minus 118. So this is 14. 14 means not only 14 now. 14 means how much now? This is E. So this is option B. Next. The decimal value of 0.25 is 0.25 decimal value. So simply multiply with what I mean of 2 say multiply karo. So this is 0.5. So this means 0 0.0. Next again multiply with what termin of 2 say multiply the 1 0. So this is 1. So what's the option termin of D? Next. Convert the binary to octal. Binary number to octal form. So what we should do? 3 3 group it now. So these 3, these 3. We can put one more 0 here. So this is 2 and this is 5, this is 2. So this is an option now here. Next, let R denote the number system radix. The only values of R that satisfy these equations. Yes, 11 square, which can satisfy, it can satisfy any value greater than 2. Hana bowl? Yes. Now tell me, 1, 2, 1, 7 is equivalent to, okay. Decimal, 16 ne chahiye. Okay. Huh, huh. 1, 2, 1, 7, they given octal form now. So then this is given us octal form, how we can write? 1, 2, 1, 7, 1 means, so 3 bits we have to use, 0, 0, 1, 2 means what, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 7, 1, 1, 1, now this is octal form, now abhi humko hexadecimal chahiye, so 4, 4 we need to group it now, 4 bits and this is 4 bits, Right terminal, this is what terminal EF, this is what terminal 8, and this is 2. Yes, so that is 2, 8, F, 16. The base of the system such that the following equation holds. So this is 3, 1, 2. They given this as what terminal 3, 1, 2. So 3, 1, 2, base B, if I say this is 20, base B, which is also equal to 13.1, base B. So tell me now here, this is 3 into B square plus B plus 2 by 2 B, na, which is equal to what we can say now here, B plus 3 plus 1 by B. Check it on a few these equations. Now tell me now 3B square plus B plus 2 by this is 2B which is equal to B square plus 3B plus 1 by B. B, B cancel. So from this what I can say now here 3B square plus B plus 2 
which is equal to b square plus 3 3b plus 1 now simplify this thing here no 2b square so 2b square is also there now the right side part this is 2b square 2b square plus what terminal 6b plus 2 means b square which is equal to what terminal 5b either b is equal to 0 or b is equal to 5 now so option c right fine okay yeah that's for the today's sessions and we'll meet in the next session okay then see you bye, -bye.